Okay, my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, right? First house placements. All right, this is for you. We getting gathered up in here. I'm definitely going to cleanse the energy. If you have Leo placements, I would definitely suggest you check out that reading. It got quite interesting, okay? Quite interesting. So, we're going to cleanse the energy. I'm going to use my singing bowl here. Excuse me. Take deep breaths. I'll do single ones. Yeah. Definitely have to cl cleanse the energy after that one. I'm going to light an incense. Welcome in, y'all. Welcome in. We about to get started with the Aries reading. Alright. We just going to light up the incense again. I'm going to call down my ancestors, my guys, your ancestors, your guys into this space, okay? To banish and clear any negative energies, entities in all space, timelines, all right? Dimensions, all right? I also call down Eshu, Ogun, Oya into this space, the great mothers, to continue to banish and clear all these negative entities. You are not wanted here. You are not wanted here. We're going to fill that space with light, love balance darkness as well because we are whole and complete ashe all right and we're also going to call down the coordinates of the north the east the south and the west one more time ring in y'all gonna get started Aries thank you all for being patient as I cleanse the energy definitely need it if you are a Leo make sure that you check out the Leo reading all right that's here once you watch the replays once these are up on my YouTube channel right mystic storm make you make sure you all subscribe all right we gotta get into it Aries let's see what spirit what ancestors what our guys have for you We have the lovers in reverse. Let's see what else is going on, Spirit. All right, we got the lovers in reverse, four of pentacles with the hermit card in reverse. And at the base, we have nine of cups. So this is like, things may not look as beautiful or as grand as you would want it to, but your blessings are, or your answers to your prayers are being answered. Your, your prayers are being answered. Like this is a blessing in disguise, okay? With this lovers in reverse, this could be, yes, a romantic partnership. This could just be within you, learning how to learn the fullness and wholeness and loving all parts of you, right? With the four of pentacles, you could be holding on to things because you want, um, yes, you want stability, yes, uh, but at the same time, I feel like it's like you're holding on out of fear, out of fear, especially because 
Uh, here we have the Ten of Cups, excuse me, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This could be family dysfunction as well. Family dysfunction. So this could be the reason why you hold on to uh, partners, Aries, is because of a family dynamic that's happened. So something that happened in your childhood, right? Um, abandonment wounds, rejection uh, wounds, all that stuff. I definitely can... Uh, relate to that so you might have like anxious anxious or avoidant attachment styles depending on you know how you roll right but we got the hermit card uh in reverse so this means that you might be avoiding going into the darkness avoiding shining a light on this part of you um and yeah, it's time. It's just time. It's time to break free from that. Um, I feel like your outside world might be chaotic, trying to force you to look within. Again, it's a blessing in disguise. So it's kind of like be careful what you wish for. You just might get it. Like, um, just for an example, I had. Uh, wrote one time like I want somebody to show me you know what love really is like how are you supposed to be treated in love and guess what they showed me what love really was to choose me to love myself more okay <laughs> so be careful what you wish for be careful what you wish for alright so let's keep going let's keep flowing I feel like you don't trust yourself, too. I'm looking at this High Priestess card in reverse. You don't really trust uh, yourself when it comes to making these decisions out of love. It's kind of like, oh, it's like a what if. What if they start acting right? Or what if, you know, I'm missing out on something, right? This can definitely be a relationship. Because, again, man came out. This could be also just your, the masculine energy within you, Aries, okay? Take it how you will. We got the star card. Guaranteed success. Um, maybe when I said, um, are you, should you stay? You don't know if they're going to act right. Like, maybe you banking on uh, their success. That's also a part of codependency, right? If you banking on this person's success or um, with your masculine energy, you might be overly in your masculine energy. Like, you're really like tunnel vision on success and that's causing a lot of blockages in your life or imbalance yeah we got the lion time to act i told y'all i told y'all i told y'all to uh if to watch the leo uh replay it's gonna be the these um replays are gonna be gold because the other ones were green okay there, it's going to be gold Leo, just like this one is a gold Aries uh, thumbnail, okay? Time to act. And it might be, mm, mm, okay, anyway, time to act, time to make a decision, but, you, but you're also afraid to, right? Clouds, temporary problems. Clouds can also mean a lot of confusion, right? Grapes, time to go out and have fun. Maybe you're also too rigid. Right, that's why I could say this could be just you, Aries. And you're really in your masculine. You're really focused on success. You're hungry. You just want things now, now, now. And um, yeah, even in the Leo energy, just to give you a little synopsis, it was a lot going on in the mind. Okay? A lot of confusions, illusions, even like spirits came down. That's why I, I had to further cleanse right um how to clean that up is to have fun indulge a little bit right tap into your feminine energy tap into your sensuality all right angels spiritual guidance protection from harm okay tap in with the ancestors aries the ancestors are calling you also you are protected harp this does give angelic also also tap into your um your happiness leo is all about creativity all about the inner child we did talk about inner child wounds and how that can play a part in your love life so <laughs> focus on your happiness what makes you happy what brings you joy okay 
And let's do one more card from here. Good fortune. Good fortune. I said, yo, the what you wish for, it will be granted. Definitely could be about, you know, career. Coins is here. Money will be coming to you. But at the same time, it's like, be careful what you wish for. Because how you get it might not be how you necessarily wanted it. Right? But everything that's happening, this little chaos here, is a blessing in disguise. If this is a relationship and you're holding on to it again uh, with with hopes that the success, you will get a glimpse of their success. Um, maybe their ancestors are protecting them. Okay? You never know. Because that... I, because if the man is here and you just hear, they're like, oh, no, nah, what are they contributing? Okay? So, because it's an imbalanced love. It's codependency. It's not an equal give and take. So, this could be, you could be on either side, Aries. Right? So, yeah. It was a lot of different messages here. So, Take it how you will. Alright, we're going to get into some more messages. Yeah, mental conflict to a sword. Should I stay or should I go? And then fulfillment of wishes, which is nine of cups. The same, same card now, but in reverse. Okay. And then we got third eye chakra. You might need to focus on your third eye chakra. Okay. Hold on. So focus on balancing out your, your uh, relationship. Make sure that it's equally yoked. Make sure that y'all are, you know, operating in more harmony. But again, coming off of the relationship, if this is mental conflict within yourself on how you should go about manifesting your dreams, your desires, right? Um, it's kind of like focusing on your third eye chakra to um, to ground and center yourself and also so you can visualize what it is that you really want. And if you're thinking like more pessimistic, working on, you know, getting out of that energy. People be sleeping on affirmations, and I'm like, I, you know, like how they say, like, well, I don't believe that. Okay. It was a time where I, I was going through a rough time. I was going through a dark night of the soul. And I was crying my eyes out. And yes, I probably felt unworthy. I probably felt all, all of these things like, why me? But when as I looked in the mirror, all I heard in my head was, you are powerful. You are beautiful. Uh, or, you know, I am, right? I am powerful. I am beautiful. I am enough. I said, oh, yeah. But it's working, baby. Because if I'm telling myself, I'm reminding myself, it's a reminder. I might not feel like it right now, but it's a reminder. I am. Okay? And it's waking up to the I know. Right? So, you might need to do more meditations. Definitely clear up these blockages within the mind. Um, yeah, because we said you're not you're not wanting to see some type of truth here. Trying to see um, the imbalance that's going on. Yeah, you're probably avoiding it, and in avoiding it, you're sabotaging your your relationship or sabotaging what your manifestation. Okay. All right. Let me get some romance angel messages. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for the likes. I see y'all. All right. We're going to get some romance angel messages. Okay, 
way too many cards, Spirit. One card will suffice. One, one card at a time. Thank you. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay, that's why I say it's not an equal give and take. It's not reciprocal, right? Either you need to make some changes, you need to let go of some things, your partner needs to let go of some things. If this is just within yourself to love on yourself, your, like your self-love journey, make the effort, put in the time, all right? True love, this is the romance of a lifetime. Your true love, too, is also you, right? Going back and forth between like a romantic partnership and self-love, right? Free yourself. It's time to take control of your life, right? time to let go stop um it's time to act right now this is kind of like contradiction con like contradictory is that a word to Aries usually Aries y'all all about taking that action right but you could be comfortable in some areas of your life okay it's not you probably not always on go everywhere right free yourself especially when we talk about these um you know, past life or like early childhood or, you know, dynamics. Yes, everybody has something that they kind of tie to that they need to work on freeing themselves. This is like subconscious. Okay. Let's see. And that goes into the third eye. Again, meditating, going into that. Because this is giving a cognitive dissonance. Okay. It's like um, when I was younger... I seen this lady, I was going to physical therapy with my mom, and I seen this lady jogging and smoking a cigarette. I feel like that's cognitive dissonance. <laughs> you're trying to get healthy, but you're smoking a cigarette at the same time, you know? So, we got separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Okay, so if this is a dynamic, a relationship dynamic, and it seems like it's, you know, a little rocky, like it's not balanced, right? Separation or just time to yourself will definitely help to get some things in order. You definitely probably need to take a step back to put some things into perspective to see what it is you really want, Aries. Okay, and then also at the base is uh, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. And then also in reverse, so you probably don't believe this, and this is something you need to affirm, you are lovable. Okay? You are lovable, Aries. All right? Oops. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Everything about to fall over here. But I hope y'all enjoy it. Make sure y'all like. Make sure you uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, Mystic Storm. Okay, I'm giving a giveaway once we reach 500 subscribers. Okay, so be on the lookout for that. And we're going to get into the final message here. We have wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Okay, so if this is like, again, we have the separation energy. We have this imbalance going on. Things don't seem like it's working right now. Um... It wasn't, now, I was like, I always try to make sure I'm not projecting, like, you need to break up with this person, okay? If it's separation, right, it might just be detaching from it, giving each other space. It's saying, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course, right? If this isn't love and this is something that you're trying to put yourself out to do, like, with your career, wait, don't rush into it. Plan. Make a plan of action, right? Right? All right, let's see. I want to get one more. Ooh. Oh, I want to get these two. Okay. So this one, it says, My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. So if you need to detach and like, you know, uh, separate from your partner, know that they're still feeling you. Know that they still want you. It's just, y'all probably have to take some time to figure things out separately before you come back together. Okay? And then, with all these butterflies, 
beautiful. It says, deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. And this is, you probably like, how? When you got this mental conflict, right? <laughs> but you know what you want. You know what you want and you know what you desire. So this is why uh, going within more, right? Taking some time to yourself. Taking some time to meditate, you know? To really figure out what you want and move in that with conviction, okay? All right, Aries, I hope y'all enjoyed. All right, all right. All right. I hope y'all have a good one. Again, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I love y'all. Have a good one. See ya.